Do you like death? Do you like scissors? Do you like blood? Well, you've come to the right place, because this is our playthrough of Clock Tower on PS1. If you want to see more of these long plays and you enjoy them, consider pledging to our Patreon. Help us unlock Edna and Harvey the Breakout as an extra playthrough over there. You can do so by pledging in the link in the description and keeping these long plays coming on this main channel too. You can even vote and nominate on what these long plays are. Big shout out to our wonderful, fantastic Domkin OD Chatfield. Thank you so much for the continued support on Patreon. We love you. And I'd also like to shout out Alice, our producer too. Her links are on screen right now. Anyway, enjoy Clock Tower. Oh baby, this is such a spooky intro. So spooky. This is Clock Tower on PS1. I'm Mix. And I'm Quizum. And uh, hello if you're new here. Hello. And welcome. if you're not, welcome back. Uh, this was voted on by our patrons as the next full length long play. Go to uh, sound in stereo, please. Okay, so. Okay. Stereo or mono roll? No, you want stereo. Yes. Yeah. And anyway, uh, this is the first Clock Tower that was released in English. It's actually the second Clock Tower game, but this one was released on PlayStation in English, and the SNES one was not released in English. Mm. So, this is technically Clock Tower 2, if you're Japanese, but if you're American, it's Clock Tower 1. Basically. Fantastic, isn't it? It's not confusing whatsoever. Yeah, especially as in this game, that was billed as the first game in the West, they're going to discuss events from the other game, that they didn't get released in the West. I can understand why people didn't think that was sus, though, especially at the time, because that's basically what happens in movies. I mean, that is true as well, I suppose. Alright, let's jump into the game. It's time to get scissored really hard. Oh my god, wibbly wobbly redness. Spooky dookie. Spooky dookie! It's like putting all the scariest things in one picture. Professor Bark. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. That sounds so threatening. <laughs> that does. <laughs> Do you want to lose your fucking job? If not, give me your fucking daughter. <laughs> All right, so this is a point-and-click game, baby, mm -hmm. on PlayStation, which is a little unusual. But we're going to have a look around his office quickly. We're going to press press a button here in the prologue. A file cabinet. Patients' records are kept here. What's this? This is a memo stuck between the pages. I found hint one. Can I access it? Anywhere? I guess not. I, I guess not at the moment. <laughs> Old clock tower. <laughs> hmm, there is a faint smell of ammonia. Delicious. I love a good smell of ammonia. Baby, there's a big pair of scissors here. Thank a you, dear. giant pair of scissors is on the desk there. A replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. They are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Okay, then. That was pretty intense, but sure. Let's look at the bed. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of a ten victims in this case. How intriguing. 
<laughs> Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I had to get information out of her for future profiling materials. So depending on our actions in this prologue, it'll choose whether we play as Jennifer or her mother. Okay. Helen is a, a guardian, sorry, not mother. Mm -hmm. guardian. And they each have slightly different stories. My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Research. <laughs> the staff is still here. Why does he seem surprised by the fact his staff is still here? I mean, maybe they're usually lazy fuckheads. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. I mean, you, he was a dick to her. Hmm. Okay. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning... To look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. I will say the dialogue sometimes really slow and sometimes really fast. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Wow. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. What is this? What a little bastard. A statue. It's cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert's opinion on this. So, like, all this is from the first game. You'd have no idea, like, if you were playing this for the first time, you know what I mean? Mm hmm <clears throat> What's this? A cat? Is that a lucky cat? A stuffed animal. Looks like a prize one of the fair. What about this one here? This one looks creepy. That's a spooky dooky mask. Spooky dooky one. Scissorman's rubber mask. A kind sold it in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. What, has he become like an iconic serial killer? People certainly buy stupid things. What the fuck? Alright, hello, who are you, sir? Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Hmm, I guess they want sens to sensationalise this. Scissor man, who really doesn't even exist. What? Scissor man? It'd be cool if he were real. No, no it wouldn't. <laughs> um, just a joke. Hilarious, Danny. Thanks. You're fired. <laughs> there is still something I need to do in here. Oh, what else do you need to do then? Harris's desk clips articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Who is Harris? Maybe we can leave the room now? Lady, please? Yes! Fantastic news. Okay, what's the timestamp? Nine... Sorry, 11.03. Alright, so this is a pretty big moment here, baby, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk to this guy here. If you talk to him once, you play as Jennifer. If you talk to him twice... Um, sorry, if you want to play as Helen, you talk to him once. If you want to play as Jennifer, you talk to him twice. We're going to talk to him twice because we want to play as Jennifer. Okay. okay? Oh, Professor... A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Um, is Jennifer... She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Ah, uh, no. He's always so gloomy. <laughs> is he saying that out loud? He's top notch though, that's for sure. But then, was he just literally just like, <laughs> saying that out loud in front of him? <laughs> anyway, we need to go to the first floor to talk to the journalist, so let's go in the let's get in the elevator. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a puppy a boofing. It's a boofer. A boofy boofer. A boofy boofer. This is probably quite revolutionary at the time actually, some of this stuff. Oh probably. <laughs> it just doesn't age well. No, it doesn't age well. <laughs> That's usually what happens with, with like revolutionary stuff. It just doesn't age well. I want to try something, by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't. Oh, Professor! Nolan, I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. 
This is Norway. My name is Nolan Campbell, and this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Didn't he invite them? I don't know. I'm going to try and save. Hang on. Who's that you can save where you would like? That's nice, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Question mark? No. I can't say anything for sure. Yet because the victim's testimony lacks... Credibility. What about the ten bodies? Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, no, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. I wonder why. Okay. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man? And whether he really exists. Or not. That's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. <laughs> yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the story. The whole thing. Same thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? <laughs> I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> Any more dialogue? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his weapon. Okay. Doesn't that mean that scissor man exists, but that doesn't make him into an immortal monster? We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? Was that... She was scared. Was that brought up? I don't know. She thought she saw something. I thought something. it was just like a seven-year-old little demon thingy. Okay, that's it. The interview's over. I don't know. I can't remember much from the first dance <laughs> game. We'll play it eventually, I'm sure. There is something I must be doing. Oh, well. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I couldn't be as much help as you would have hoped. That's right. Fuck off, Barton. I had to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. How many survivors were there? I don't, I don't know the first two. game that well. He said two. He's supposed to be a young boy, about ten years old. Oh, that's surprising. I'm not controlling this, he's just doing this. Going back to the lab, I guess. Wait, are we interviewing Scissorman? <laughs> I don't know, and I have no idea what floor the office is on. Oh, okay. There you go. At least it's going to be tell me. Yeah, you're wasting time by telling me you hate wasting time. <laughs> Alright. We're going to go to the lab. We're going to have a great time. Oh, you can run if you double... I'm not quite sure how to do that. I need to practice that, because that's probably going to come into uh, quite important play at some point. Yeah. All right. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, he has arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Okay, so this is another important decision, guys, all right? Okay, so we have the statue here, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, we can choose where the statue goes, which is an important detail for later on in the story for when a, one of our other characters will need to get it, okay? So we're going to select the statue here, and I'll show you what I mean, okay? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert's uh, opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan... Library. Yes, but there was the old butler at the Barrows 
mansion named Rick as well. Okay, so he like so this I'll show it to him. The Murray's mansion is where the first murders take place, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Okay, so we're gonna ask Harris yes, so it's gonna end up with the butler. Okay, and we have to remember that because later on we'll have a choice on which one to go to, and we need to go to the butler. Okay. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? All right, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? <laughs> Is that the statue that was at the scene of the crime? Or the Scissor Man murders? Oh, it was close. <laughs> I'm trying to preempt it. Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home. This evening. This is when he knows she doesn't get paid enough to deal with your shit. <laughs> okay, that's that. All right, I should probably go to the therapy room. Yeah, let's go and talk to our victims. I'm such a little numpkin. So no. Hi. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I thought you said, how do you know? <laughs> I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. No, I am yeah, this, Guardian. this must be Scissor Man. Yeah, Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very... Difficult. I'm pretty sure this is Scissorman the kid, right? I think this is Scissorman and his mom, isn't it? Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward? Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yes. Because he's even wearing the little schoolboy uniform. Well then, let's get going. It just... that was so fast. <laughs> yes. So you can really save what you like in this. That's kind of handy. I think that might maybe be because of the play special PlayStation. Oh. Well, that's good. <laughs> We're playing as Jennifer now. Helen isn't home. I think I will go out for a while. And get kidnapped. And brought into a nightmare situation again. No. Where shall I go? Oh my god! We have choices? It's unprecedented. Okay. We need to- uh, I've got- so apparently these bits can take ages and you can wander around aimlessly doing fuck all if you want. But I'm gonna obviously be using a special- special tool. <laughs> to tell me where to go to get these done quickly. I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. Alright, so this is her guardian now, after the after the crimes. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Even though I was just here five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, sorry. I thought I was like, I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? This is what she just said. My hard drive crashed. And I lost all my data. Oh, that sucks. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in the usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. Why? Don't okay. This is something. This Get is a multiple pet, keys. Yeah, this is a pet peeve of mine. I fucking hate the whole like. Oh yeah, we have an extra key. We we leave it hidden somewhere outside. Yeah, and your hiding place is always the same as everybody else's hiding place. So if anyone ever wanted to break into your house, all they would have to do is look under that one rock that is obviously fake, or the flower pot, or the mailbox. <laughs> Just don't do it. Just have multiple keys and don't lose your keys. Hmm. Or call a locksmith if you need to get back in. That also bothers me too. It's just like, oh, 
I, uh, I lost my keys. Instead of calling a locksmith, let me just break into my own house and anyone watching can know exactly how to break into my house. Oh my god. Uh, we're, go- we're going to the library, by the way, to talk to her men- Helen's mentor, who runs the library. This is one of the people we could give the statue to, but we didn't. Okay? Mm-hmm. This is set in Norway, by the way. Yeah, you said. I, it's, it's such a weird location. I just, I'm like, I don't know why they chose it. Hello, Jennifer. Did you come to check out a book or something? Mr. Sullivan? He looks like Donald Trump. You're as cute as ever. How's Helen? She's fine, but she's been busy lately. I see. By the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to see it? Of course. <laughs> it's quite a collection of archaeological shit. Value. Sorry, I was close. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. It would take a long time. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Okay, what the fuck was the point of this interaction? Well, drop in for a visit anytime. All right, two more places to go. We're going to go to the Norway International Hotel. Oh, that's right. Edward is supposed to be here. I wonder what kind of boy he is. I'm really sus of Edward. Yeah, I But am... I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know enough about the first game to remember. I think maybe whoever you save initially was, like, random. Or not random, but you There's, could like, save... ten ends to the first game. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognise your face from all... The pictures in the paper and possibly from the first game but i can't remember so this is k from granite orphanage i remember it had to do with granite orphanage the first game yeah okay so she began after jennifer left granite orphanage allegedly <laughs> see i think i think the lady dies because in the first game well should we say what happens in the first game let's not talk about it in case <laughs> Hello, Edward. How do you do? Sorry, I, 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 I can't stop the dialogue, by the way. It just goes super fast. So oh, sorry. I can't control it. Jennifer, Edward has lost a memory from the shock of... Sometimes it's really slow, like this. But then other times it's like, bam. Yes, I've heard. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with you, Mike Joggy's mo- This is sus. I don't think she's involved, but I think he is. I was hoping you'd be able to come visit Edward. It looks like Edward's not wearing any pants, by the way. <laughs> yes, that would be fine. I will come as often as I can. Well, I must be going. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for keeping you! We only spoke for seven seconds! See you again, Edward, and we didn't address any of the issues that we might have! Baby! Don't... What the fuck? It's fine. All right, uni- okay, I need to go to the university staff housing, finally. This is the last one here. Huh, someone is in front of the house. <gasps> oh, that's... University staff housing. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my room? You're the reporter that came to the university, okay. Okay, still, what are you doing in my room? <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower murders. Even though it's a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. As a reporter, I simply can't leave it alone. Yes, the truth. And I'm interested in you too. Well, okay. How old's Jennifer? <laughs> hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? See? I don't <laughs> care what you tell me, I just want to... talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date? Uh, well, uh... Uh... That's it. Both. <coughs> yes, both. An interview and a date. <laughs> Oh, Alright the then, tee hee, let's go! What the <laughs> fuck?! He's smooth. I also think she's underage. <laughs> Scenario 1. Jessica Simpson.
It's very late. <gasps> Someone seems to be following me. I think this is going to escalate quite quickly here, by the way. Yeah. Probably into our first death. I'm getting that vibe. I'm not controlling this, by the way. Just book it! <laughs> what the fuck is happening?! Oh, hi. He's gonna die, this guy. Help! Someone is following me! Hmm. Some kind of weirdo? <laughs> No jam! No jam. Okay, this is good. We're, we're being chased immediately here, so this is great. Going. We're definitely dead. Hide in the stall. Hide in the stall. He's an idiot. Don't lean against the door. <laughs> This is not gonna end well. We're gonna get nailed. Well, I'm dead. Yeah. I had no idea what to do there. <laughs> oh! Oh! Maybe there's something I can do in here. I'm gonna try, okay? Oh, that continues! Really generous! Oh, what are you doing? Uh. Well, I died again. But I'm gonna try a few more times in here, okay? Pretzel doesn't like this either. She's a grump. You know what I don't really understand? That's a very hobbled little thing. Why can't you just, like, kick him in the shin? There are times when you can take him out for extended periods, I know that. Like, like with items. Like in, like in Nightcry, right? You could like throw shit at them. Mm. Alright, one more time I'm gonna try this, alright? Oh, he's gone! I guess he was just close behind me before. Oh. Puppy, it doesn't like him either. Okay, that door's locked. I'm sure Helen's laboratory is on the second floor. Okay. But is there, is there stairs anywhere? I still haven't figured out how to run, by the way. Which is an issue. I think you can only run by double-clicking on an object. Alright, well that's locked. It was unlocked just a minute ago. Well, I mean, he probably locked it. The door won't budge at all. Let's try this door. Oh yeah, if I double click on the door, it will sprint. Okay. That's probably why he got me, by the way, because I sprint. I didn't sprint along the corridor. Alright. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking arsehole! This is not going to work a second time, is it? No, I don't think so. He was waiting in the box, the little fucker. No, oh, I'm fucked. God damn it, baby. Oh no, I've got the broom. Why did I do that last time? It's just random. 
He is now out of action for a while, by the way, now. Why don't we just take his scissors, though, when we do this? Then he's harmless. Yeah. I just don't understand then the logic. Then he's just like a grumpy midget. <laughs> you know what I mean? God. All right. Has there ever been a uh, small person serial killer? Uh, yeah, there has. It's that full of complex crafts and graphs. What's this? Discovered hint two. What the fuck are the hints? Might be a contextual thing. It's empty. There are some tools, but nothing seems useful. This might be useful. What? An oil can. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> I'm trying to go down here. <laughs> We're going to clear out the first floor first. You know, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. This guy's going to be dead, right? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> the jam! Oh, there's actual jam this time. There wasn't jam before. I'm gonna drop a side pit, by the way. There's no jam splatter, but there is, you know, jammy, jammy corpses. Jammy cadavers. So far, I'm liking this, by the way. It's janky, but I expected it to be janky, you know what I mean? Mm. It is a PS1 game. Alright, can we call for help or something? Huh? The telephone is dead. Of course it is. What else do we have here? Let's look at the table. There's a key on the table. What is this? You had the ladder key. Alright, let's get the fuck out of this room. Because the music's getting a bit... I think that might signify he's out and about again, by the way. He's such a numkin. <laughs> no. Watch him be in the lift while I bring it down. Watch him just be like here in the door. Okay, maybe not. It'd be so rude. Alright, then we'll do the second floor now, okay. Is this the building from the start of the game? I think it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try in here first, I guess. By the way, I like the fact that continues are really lenient in this. You know, that it started me, like, just before, just after the scissor man. Yeah. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. I need to be in this room as well. Come on, let's go. Is there anything I can use to, like, fucking beat the shit out of him with? Oh, I should have thrown the plant plan. Goodbye! Oh, the female toilet's the only safe space in the building. No, you took too long. <laughs> I need to get the hang of the running. No rush or anything, but... There's two cubicles here. There's two! This might save my day. It actually works. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my fucking god, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in this other one? There's like something in there. Okay, there is. <laughs> okay, wow. Isn't that bad? 
That is a lot of gem. That was probably really graphic at the time, right? Oh yeah, probably. The sink is right there! Uh, there's also a toilet right there. <laughs> All right, let's go back. But yeah, so far I'm liking this quite a lot. Mm. Like it's 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 an okay kind of jank, you know. The fax tone rings. Okay. I can't move at the moment. I also can't see the fax machine. Let's use the phone again. Oh, this one's connected? Yeah. Hello. You have reached Helen. Oh, for fuck's sake. Helen, why do you sound like an answer machine? Well, that wasn't good. Here's the fax machine. Let's see what the fax said, yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's some silver in the building! There are various documents on the desk. I don't care about this. We need to get out of here now. The music started again, by the way. <laughs> Which means we're going to probably get scissored. Good and proper again. <laughs> and it's not even the fun kind, baby. It's like the bummest kind of scissored. Yeah. Alright, I think this is the lab where that guy we were earlier. Where Helen works. So we're gonna probably get attacked by Scissor Man in here. Alright, which one's Helen's desk? I wanna search it. Helen's desk is very neatly organized. There is a key. You now have the office key. Well that's 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 convenient. Is it? Yeah, I want to point something out cool as well, okay? It's like an Easter egg here, alright? It's open. It's because I unlocked it with the key. So we know this is the dead end and everything, right? But there's something missing in here. Look what's missing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think Edward is definitely the little shit. It looks like a kid as well, doesn't it, says a man. Alright, we finished with this floor, up to the third floor now. We're actually nearly done with this first act. Uh, I think we're in trouble though, don't you? Yeah. Oh, he's right outside the door. Maybe. Where's the elevator? Go, go, go. I, I think, I think you took too long. Oh, for fuck's sake, I did, yeah. Although I do like these little death scenes, they're kind of cool. Oh, oh, oh shit! He's gonna shove him through, right? Yeah, probably. No, three, go! really cool. <laughs> that really, that actually was really uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. 
Fiero's laboratory is right in the door. The door is locked. Okay. That fire extinguisher there? Remember it. We need it. Okay? I'm not gonna remember it. <laughs> Some cosmetics are on the table. There is something written here. You discovered hint three. Okay. That's all that's on this floor. But he's probably gonna come back at me along here. So I need to use a fire extinguisher on him if he does. Mm. Cause he is a bumpkin. I should just go up here instead of using the elevator. I feel like we used the elevator. We tested. We already used. You know, used. You know, tested our luck a bit with the elevator. Okay, I can see why I'd use the elevator because <laughs> that was jank as fuck. A door to lift. It's locked and won't open. What is this? An emergency ladder. Oh, we have the ladder key. It looks like a fire ladder. It's locked, so I guess it can't be used in an emergency either. But we have the key. How do I use the key? Ladder key. Oh, there you go. Boom. From way up here, is it safe? I mean... What am I looking at? Oh. oh, okay. We finished the chapter, by the way. I would immediately just run to the nearest police station. The proper one, not the campus one. <laughs> Yes. Yep. I'm really proud of us. That went pretty well. Yeah. I, I actually really like stalker type horror games like, a lot. Like, they're some of my favorite shit. I would have figured that was your like least favorite. No, I really like him. Oh, I really like him. Like I like I even like the modern ones like Akamanto and Yukiana and stuff. What <laughs> in the fuck is that? We haven't even solved the last case yet. <laughs> and now another mass murder? And again, you're saying the murderer is a monster? But it's true. I can't already see tonight. I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissorman is back. Well, don't blame me. Whether he exists or not, you should go home now. <laughs> and rest. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> we posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. What? What? Excuse me? Jennifer. Helen, it's true. It was a scissor man. I know. I believe you, Jennifer. He is just being stubborn. I heard that, Teach. Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. Yes. Okay. That went well, I guess. What should we do now? Give me one second. All right, now I need to go to the newspaper and talk to the nice man who took us on a date. I wonder what Nolan is doing. This is the man, this is the cameraman who is with Nolan. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Nolan, he just went to look for you. He is worried about you. Oh, here he is? He should be back in a bit, but I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again. 
<laughs> and if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. I suppose you're right. I'll come back later then. I'll leave the back door open for you, so try not to get seen. I was close. Thank you. <laughs> I like my guessing, though, but it's gone pretty well so far. Okay, so this is where we can really fuck up. Alright. So, the university is where we need to go now. Wherever the fuck that is. Is it one of these? University Research Building. I wonder if Helen is here. This is literally where we were chased earlier, by the way. No, yeah, let's go back. That, that, that won't bite us in the butt. Why isn't it a crime scene? There was, like, bodies everywhere! Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Yes. What about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Hmm. Why don't you just... And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Professor Barton gave it to someone, though. Do you have any idea where it might be? I know we know that, but they don't know that. <laughs> yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man called Rick, I believe his name was. Yep. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion on the statue. I don't know who this is. Rick, though. I see. Okay. Do you anyway, I'll go to the <laughs> library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. It's so weird how it's just like... Super fast sometimes. It's weird. I want anything and everything relating to... Scissorman. Yes. <laughs> no. I'll find out who this Rick person is. This isn't the decision yet, by the way. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer. Yes? Who is Nolan? Dun dun dun! Um... Well, I better run along now! Uh, he's a 26-year-old man who's taking me out on a date, and I'm 15. <laughs> but I'll pass on that information for now. Okay, we Are you back. just gonna progressively lower her age? Uh, she actually is 15, I looked it up. <laughs> She's 15 and he's 26 in the story. But it's fine. I mean... It, I think it actually is fine in Norway, to be fair. <laughs> Where's the newspaper gone? Oslo Weekly Newspaper Co. I like how she's still just walking around like, oh yeah, everything's... After being chased <laughs> around that fucking building by a maniac. Okay, so he's here now. Okay, so this is the important part. Jennifer, are you alright? Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. Okay. Is there anything I can do? What? Actually, yes, there is! <laughs> do you know a man named Rick? <laughs> oh, I think he is involved in the clock tower murders. Case. Whatever. I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the Barrows family. Okay. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. You mean the one they found at the scene of the crime? So yeah, this is, um, this is, uh, this, we gave it to Rick, right? I want every little clue relating to this case. 
Okay, should I get the statue from him? Alright, I'll go see him and get it. I can get a choice then. Well, do you want to ask Nolan? Yes. Yes, let's go and get the statue, okay? Because it went to Rick. Mm -hmm. You can count on me. Thank you, Nolan. We're going to be playing as Rick. As Nolan, sorry. The sooner I do it, the better, right? I'll go now then. And here's the next scenario. I'm pretty sure they spot his name wrong there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> On that screen. He's fine. He won't be along, alive long enough to care. He might be. We're going to be playing as him, and he's a hero. Mm. He's not a hero. He's pretty creepy. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yes, if you have any idea, please tell me. I'm looking for any clue, no matter how insignificant. Hmm. Nolan, do you know of a castle called Barrows? Castle? Barrows Castle? I mean, you know he worked there! Yes, it is a castle in England. Oh no, it's a separate thing. Then before the Barrows family moved... Yes, that is what I have heard over 80 years ago. I like the music, by the way. Is there something in the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorised the local children. Just like Scissorman. I had thought it was a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Then there is a way of defeating Scissorman. I mean, obviously not if he popped up again. Rick, do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere... There is. Scissorman's gonna shut up, isn't he? I guess so. Oh, is he gonna cut the chandelier? Nolan, I was given this chandelier as a farewell <laughs> present when I retired. So it used to hang in the Barrow's mansion. Yes, what wonderful times they were, except for the terrible times. <laughs> you stand directly underneath it. <laughs> Even in not spooky times, I, I never feel comfortable standing underneath the chandelier. That is a lot of jam, by the way. <laughs> Who could have possibly done such a thing? I don't know where he is, but I'm just booking it at the moment, alright? <laughs> It seems like a really small and close space for us to be dealing with Scissor Man, by the way. What are you doing? Well, I'm dead. I've no idea where to go. Shoot him? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, we're a man, so we can fight back. Oh, Maybe. well, not very well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tr saying, has anyone tried kicking Scissor Man repeatedly in the balls? I, mean, I just feel like this is a valid strategy. They're pretty low down there because he's just like a hundred little gremlin. I'm just saying we could try. <laughs> this is what I tried to do before, by the way, and it wouldn't let me do it. Solid plan here. He's nice breathing, it's so fucking loud! I do like the fact it gives you another chance almost right away at the same room. Yeah, that is, that is very, uh, lenient and handy. Yeah, very nice. Alright, we're gonna stop here.
Okay. We got away from Scissor Man. God, this game is really dark. Isn't it? It is very dark. A chest that is not used. It still looks fairly new. I need to find some things in here, Bubby. A chest. It's a fine looking chest. <laughs> too bad it isn't being used. I am way too immature for this. Holy shit. There should be something in here we need, by the way. The box is full of canned goods. There's some laundry inside. What is this? Is this something? Yes. This is what I need. I found some detergent and other cleaning supplies. This could be used to blind someone. You now have the powder soap. Okay, so we've got a defensive item. Okay. So no. Let's go and check if Rick's okay. <laughs> I'm not hedging my bets that he's okay. I mean, I thought we established he wasn't okay. He could just have been holding a jar of jam in his pocket. See? He's probably okay. I don't think he's okay. Rick's body is underneath. He's fine. <gasps> he's got alcohol! Oh my god! Oh my god. A full cocktail cabinet. <laughs> relax, relax. No, I'm not going to let him kill me. Well, good to know. The alcohol will be your undoing? Well, I guess it's not really a good idea to be drunk when you're being chased by someone. I'm not drunk. I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm not controlling this right now, he's just coming. Uh, let's try this door. I don't know where I'm going. Got, there's gotta be something in there, otherwise I'm fucked. I'm fucked. You're fucked. Oh, maybe this? I throw this at him? No. Alright, Skizzer Man. We need to discuss this. Can you get around here? I'm trying. I'm trying, no. baby. Nope. I don't know what to do when that happens. A prompt happens. Yeah. I other than getting paled, obviously, that's the other option. What an arsehole, though. The problem is this room's a dead end. Like, this room's fu Like, we're fucked in this room, right? And there must be a way of pushing him off as this character, but I don't know what it is. Can I get out in time? Oh, this is the end of the hall. Okay, there's got to be a way of doing something in here. Is there anything I can click on in here? There is no interactable items in here at all. Oh yes! Just take his fucking scissors! Why can't we take his scissors? He's flat out on the ground. He's still coming, by the way. Yeah. By the way, my thing's orange now, which means I'm like I'm weaker. Like I think you can only do that a certain number of times. Can we hide in the closet? Yes. I think it's too late. Yeah, but at least next time we'll get a chance to hide immediately in here, right? I think so. Yeah, he knows I'm in there. Oh, maybe not. What a fucking idiot! Okay. 
There seems to be something inside. Okay, then why didn't you take it? I got, uh, oh, I got the devil statue. Okay, so this is a key item. So this is the statue Jennifer was talking about. It feels cold. You now have the statue. You better not get caught again, because we'll be dead. Uh, we, we got we have three chances at knocking him over, I think. Because it'll go red, it's in orange at the moment. I'm actually going to check if there's anything in here now that he's, like, not on my ass. Okay. This is where he'll be in here, like, watching the TV or some shit. I wouldn't be surprised. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised either, if I'm honest with you. What's this? A note is stuck between the pages. You've discovered hint six. Hooray! I don't still don't know what those are. Alright, back downstairs. I don't know why we didn't use the fucking soap, by the way. That he was like, oh we can blind somebody with this. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> well, maybe... Maybe he's worried about scissor man. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want to hurt the... Uh, little numpkin. The little demon trying to ch impale him. This is the location of the Barrow's Castle. It's a fucking mask, what? Uh, okay. Okay. You've now confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. That is all there is here. Oh no! I need you to grab the vase, stat, and then throw it at the mask. Yeah! I would have had no idea what to do there except die. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to skedaddle. We need to get out of here now. That's what I just said. How about skedoodle? Hmm? No. How about skip ba 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 ba? Do you want me to shut up? Yes. Why are you such a bully? <laughs> like, I thought you loved me. I do love you. That's why I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I haven't left you yet. It will not open. Is he trying to lock me in? Well, here's hmm. the thing. If you had latches inside the door, this wouldn't be a problem. Uh, maybe there's another way out. Let's try that. Honestly, I would not be so precious about it. I would just take a goddamn chair, throw it through the window, and then climb through the window. It doesn't matter if I get cut up a little bit. I so actually think we're going to go out the window here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be behind the curtain. Okay. He wasn't. Out back, Rick's dog is there. The dog looks mad with bare fangs dripping in saliva. I wonder what's wrong with him. Oh. Well, so we're the... going out. We're going to risk it. We can immediately get mauled. No, because I've got a plan. No! The poor puppy! Oh. Here, take this! <laughs> oh! Poor puppy! We that finished the scenario though, so, so yeah. so mean! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm just a terrible person, apparently. You <laughs> could have just made a run for it. I mean, could we? I mean, yeah, it kind of looked like the dog was on a chain. <laughs> I mean, could that dog pull up the chain and run after you? Probably, but... I'm just saying, you could have... tried not to use the powder. <laughs> well, that <laughs> happened so fast, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> something about Jennifer saying something. I don't know, right. if you're interested, pause. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is uh, Jennifer's uh, final intermission before the final level. I'm not kidding, by the way. 
Uh, okay, let's go and speak to Nolan first of all and ask him about the statue, because he got the statue for us, right? By the way, if you don't get the statue in that scenario, it's game over. One of the endings. Mm. The worst ending. <laughs> well, other than getting killed, I guess, but, you know, they just restart you those ones. This game has a weird lack of music, by the way. Like, it's just occasional. Nolan, are you alright? Yes, Scissor Man was after me. What? It hasn't made the news yet, but Rick was killed. Nolan just got through being questioned by Inspector... Gotts. Yes, he was almost convinced that I was the... murderer. Maybe okay. you are. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Nolan. You are in danger because of me. I like in danger is one word. Everything is okay now, so don't worry. Here, this is the statue, isn't it? It was in Rick's home. Thank you. Also, I discovered the location of a castle. The Barrow's Castle. Maybe there is a connection. The Barrow's Family Castle? I think the castle is in England. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> Do you want to go? Yes, maybe we could discover something about... <laughs> I mean, England's so, just a shoebox. England is just nothing. It's tiny, right? It's better Please, Don't get me wrong. It is actually small, but... <laughs> maybe that's where Scissor Man was born. Scissor Man's birthplace. In any case, it may be safer there. He wouldn't <laughs> follow us to England. All right, then. I don't know. Maybe he... I mean, if I'll he tell was... everyone. He was, if he was born, if he was born in England and then he showed up in Norway, I mean, he gotta get there somewhere. Even he if he swam the whole way, he by might himself. have. He might have. You don't know. I mean, that's true, right? I'll tell God too. Otherwise, I've seen that. Um, you really think I'm a murderer? Sorry, go. No, it's okay. They, they pause so you can you can go. Oh, uh, swim in season, man. I think in Twilight they walk across the water floor. Which logistically doesn't actually make that much sense, but whatever. And I'm pretty sure in a couple zombie movies that happened too. Hmm. Alright. Basically what we need it to do now... It is kind of funny though, because that just assumes the ocean is all one level. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Basically what we have to do now is recruit everyone that we previously met to come with us to England for some reason. Okay? I wonder if the inspector is in. Same. Why do we have to bring every single one of them? I, I apparently it increases our chances of survival. Well, I guess that's statistically <laughs> true. But... <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna recruit everyone. All right. I don't know if you have to, but I think it's a bad call if we don't. Okay? No, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hi, Jennifer. It's hi. I, I heard Jennifer. Scissor Man's back. <laughs> the media's gonna jump all over again. This guy's the cop, I think, and that's the professor. This is indeed an interesting case. I would love to see the scissor man. I would love to scissor the scissor man. Hmm. <laughs> I agree, Jennifer. <laughs> Inspector Gotts, I'm going to England. It's Assistant Inspector. <laughs> Are you going there to study? Are How? You... I would think Assistant Inspector would be lower than it is. Inspector. It, it is. That's what I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe he's assistant to the inspector. That's even worse. That means he's not an inspector. He's just an assistant to the inspector. <laughs> he's just the coffee guy. He's the coffee boy. He's just the guy who makes tea in the office. <laughs> no, not really. There is a See, castle See, but I can't say tea boy. Tea boy sounds weird. Coffee boy sounds better. <laughs> tea boy sounds like it's some like sort of like secret thing. You know what I mean? Sounds like a tea bag. If I go there, maybe I'll be able to learn something about Scissor Man. Do we have to learn about him? The Barrow's Castle. That's that's where Barrow's used to live before they immigrated. Come on, to Norway. I think so. That sounds rather interesting. I will accompany you as well. Hold on a sec, Prof. How about the case? What about the case? That you was too, just... Jennifer. <laughs> was... You're an important witness in the case. <laughs> you can't just traipse off like that. Then come with us. <laughs> Keep an eye on us. Ah. Oh. There must be some reason as to why the murderer <laughs> disguises himself as Scissorman. <laughs> 
That's just who he is! We might learn why by investigating the Barrow's history. I don't think it's the kid, by the way. I've changed my mind, by the way. Hmm. 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 Mm. <laughs> All right, Prof. I go, but what am I going to say to my boss? No need to worry. You will be a hero if the case is solved. Or you'll be fired. As long as I ain't made a goat. What does that mean? A scapegoat. Oh, a scapegoat. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant goat, like, greatest of all time. What? That's what goat stands for, greatest of all time. I should tell Edward and Kay. We've got to recruit the child now and the... <laughs> Who are going to come to England? Why? I don't know. Well, hello, Jennifer. I think we are getting close to discovering the secret to Scissorman. He's a man? The he secret has to giant cigarettes? Yes, there is a castle in England. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's a castle in England called the Barrow's Castle. This is the same conversation a million times. And the Barrow's used to live there. I see. So that's Scissorman's home. So Helen and I are going to England. To, I don't think Helen's agreed yet to investigate the castle. You are? Is that a good idea? Well, it may be dangerous, but... <sighs> I'll go with you, Jennifer. What, Edward? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> You're nine years old. You can't make this decision. But if you don't do something, it'll probably kill us too. Hmm. Hmm. May I go with you, Jennifer? Okay, I'll tell Helen. Okay, hang on, I'm the fucking legal guardian here, okay? Okay, he's the fucking legal guardian. You can't just go with a random 15-year-old to fucking England for no reason, really, other than to get killed. But they're coming now. Brilliant. I'm really glad they caved in so easily. All right, then finally we have two more people to grab at the University Research Building. Bulldog. What? You can stop now. That's what it said. Oh, Jennifer, I heard you were going to the Barrows Castle in England. How do you know that? That guy Nolan told me. We've decided we'll go with you too. You have? Well... Now we know it wasn't Beth that was, uh... Dead in the toilet. Yeah. It just looked and, just like Unless her. she got better really quickly. <laughs> I don't think she'd get better from that, to be honest. This is a good chance to see a castle. And it sounds like fun. Okay. I think she may, you may be going for the wrong reasons. Oh. She turned me into a newt. I got better. Alright, that's everyone <laughs> recruited now. Um... Let's go back to the um, newspaper office. Helen might be here. Good. And we'll reconvene. Jennifer, I heard from Nolan. Now we have a clue about Scissorman. Yes, but we don't know anything for sure yet. There are now ten people going to England. Some of them think this is going to be a picnic. Well, we'll leave on the first flight in the morning. I've already arranged for a rental car. I hope we can find a way to destroy him, Jennifer. Imagine just being Me able too. to hop on a plane and go to a different country and nobody asks any questions. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I guess that we were part of the EU when this happened, so you could have done, actually. Oh, yeah. I know, Norway isn't part of the EU, though. Oh, isn't it? No. It's like one of the only countries that didn't join. Oh, fair enough. Although I have no idea when this is set either, to be honest with you. The sun is going down. What is happening right now? The sun's going down, and they're travelling. Little ants. It will be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. That sounds like an even worse idea! <laughs> What the fuck? Where's Jennifer? 
teach. Have you seen Harris and Edward? Oh my god, Scissor Man's already struck. Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. What? Kay, the worst guardian ever. <laughs> oh no. Jennifer is missing too. There's ca they can't be missing. The castle, hurry. All right, final scenario already, guys. This is a short game. I did look up the other route, by the way. It's more or less the same with just some slight variants. Um, we're gonna try and get like the best ending. Okay, try. Try being the operative word here. <laughs> oh my God! Don't be afraid, Jennifer. It's me, Harris. What? Harris? Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. Hang on. What? He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. <gasps> it was Harris! Jennifer? No, no, don't come any closer. <gasps> oh, well. Should probably leave, right? We could have just taken the other pair of scissors. Had a so, little scissor battle. What, what do you think of this shocking, abrupt revelation here? I, I don't understand why it was needed, but sure. Okay. So Scissor Man's just been here, and he sent like a fucking email to Harris and was like, "Be Scissor Man in Norway for me." Oh my God, is that what they're saying? Yeah. I. <laughs> How do we get out of the room, though? Oh, lucky! It opened. It, the door opens the other way. Watch this, by the way. Watch this. Watch this. All right. Uh -huh. He won't be there. He won't be there. And we can search the desk for an item we need. <laughs> <laughs> Several strips. Uh, I wonder what they are used for. I don't know. I actually wanted to search the pile of clothes here. Yeah. They're all Scissor Man's outfits, you know, for his daily routine. Priest robes. The colors faded. There is something in my pocket, in the pocket, not my pocket, thank fuck for that. You have the <laughs> stair key. Just like the Virgin Mary, but something is very wrong. How spooky. What's wrong? I mean, the colors are off. But that's not anything. Art history was fun to learn, but I wouldn't want to get a master's in it. Okay. We're going back in here. We need to look around in here, Bubba Numkin. Harris has gone too. We lose books from many different countries. That is a huge pile of books, by the way. Like, holy shit. Those are comically sized books. Many books are stacked up. It's like they just had the small thing, and then they just enlarged it. <laughs> Large, thick books. Just looking at these gives me a headache. What, can't you read? I don't like to read. Okay. Uh, thank you for answering the There's question. There's a ladder here. That was... Oh, what's this? A note is stuck between the books. It's written in a foreign language. Maybe Helen or Professor Barton can read it. Alright. Let's continue, shall we, Benny mm -hmm. A chapel. It looks different from the ones I know. This is spooky, Baba Numkin. So spooky. So spooky. We need this thing here, Baba. There is a copper plate on the wall. There are stars drawn on the plate. You now have the star plate. Okay. 
I just took a, a picture of that guy so I know what I'm doing later on was important, okay? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, Baba Numpkin. Oh shit, it's the inspector. That stench, sorry, assistant inspector. <laughs> Is he dead? He doesn't look too good, does he? Jennifer, you're still alive. Inspector Gott! Thank heaven, you're all right. It's Assistant Inspector. Inspector Gott? I'll go and look for the others. It's Assistant Inspector. Anyway, be careful. Oh my god, he's, that's just like a meme, isn't it? They think that's funny, I think. Kind of is, actually. But still. Okay, so have you been stabbed? Are you just asleep? <laughs> just having a lie down on this solid stone floor. A large candle is on the floor. You now have candle. Alright, there's a keyhole in this room. And it's this. I would probably have never seen that in a million years. Is that going to fall on the inspector? Nah, he's fine. He's already fucked anyway. Nah, he's fine actually, genuinely. A staircase, I wonder where it leads. I mean, <laughs> we haven't got much of a choice, Jennifer. There's nowhere else to go. Well, this is an awkward place to lead a staircase See, to. if this was Clock Tower 3, it would just be like up our ass. This room isn't like any of the others. There is something written. You have discovered. Hint number nine. Did we miss one? Uh, there's, the, some are only available in Helen's run. Ah. Uh. So like, uh, like it varies. I don't actually know what these are, to be honest with you. Uh... Anyway. I have no idea where to hide at the moment, by the way, if we come across Skizzer. Skizzer man. Wow! This is am gonna say it like this. It's a room! Let's have a look around this lovely bedroom here. Beautiful, huh, baby? Yes, I don't know. <gasps> oh no. It's a mouse, baby. An old yellowed newspaper. Jennifer, 1912? That's over 80 years ago. I've read her name there like she, like, like it was part of the headline. <laughs> I bet he's in this I bet he's in the closet. So this must be in the nineties, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that mouse ran in here. Ah, there is a small hole in the wall behind the table. Hmm. Can we put our hands in the hole? I mean, that's probably a bad idea, but still. I mean, a rat just went in there. I wouldn't do that. It was a mouse. A key! You now have the library key. It's so rude, just putting your keys inside of mouse's houses. Okay, remember the closets here, by the way, because we might need this. Don't expect me to remember the location of anything. Ever. <laughs> well, this room looks dumb. And by dumb, I mean, I don't like it. I mean, I don't really like any other rooms in this place. Oh, is there something on the wall? Or is that just a weird texture? We're we'll back there. We'll come back in a minute. Don't worry. Hmm. I wonder if I have to worry. Is 
if I was in any of these rooms, he'd just be fucked if he was here. Mm. Like, I don't know what causes him to spawn or anything. Oh! There's a book on the bed. A large book. The cover is made of copper. You now have the copper book. Okay. You're gonna tell me what's in the book, Jennifer? Or... No? Okay, then. I don't really know where I'm going at this point, so we're just gonna look around a bit, okay? Okay. Oh. Oh, hello, Professor. Hello. So, you, okay? you, ha you happy about reason to see the man now? It's you, Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh, shit, he's talking. Professor Barton? Professor Barton? Are you alright? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience for me. Because okay. here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> hmm. All right, we need to get him to look at something. All right. Oh, he's coming. Fuck. A bit busy. Okay. How do I put this away? I think we did. I can't put it away! <laughs> Seriously, nothing will put it away! <laughs> okay, I just, I'll just i be back in a minute, alright, Professor? See you soon, love you. <laughs> Where the fuck am I now?! I have no idea! Get back in? No, I did. Re I did too late. <laughs> okay, I know what to do now, though. I know what to do. <laughs> I like the death though. That was cool. <laughs> How the fuck does he come back from that? <laughs> what the fuck? And more importantly, how does he not know that this is the room with the with the bottomless pit? He lives here. <laughs> okay. On that note, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Well, I figured this was a good time to do it. It is, it is. What's the timestamp on this? Oh shit, hang on. Oh. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> we made it! Go poo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully that's got rid of Scissor Man for a while. Mm, hopefully. Because he did fall. Off a cliff. Like a numkin. <laughs> Alright. I'm not sure I'd call that numkin behavior. Take this, please. Please take this. Professor Barton, are you alright? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience. Okay, we already heard you say all this. Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. Okay, but yeah, I want you to take... I want you to... Have I got the right thing selected? Oh, no, I don't, that's why. In my panic, I lost it. This. Take this. Oh, Professor Barton. I found something I would like you to look at. What does this say? Hmm. It is in Latin. Words to open the door. Below that it's written Nha a sh What does it mean? It's shit that it's censored. I don't know. It means to open a door, just as it says, 
but it doesn't say which door. Well, okay, we now have the translated note which we will need for the finale. By the way, going out that way costs us one of our health lives, by the way. Oh, wonderful. Doing the, the door hang thing, it drained our stamina. That's not numb, is it? No, it's not numb at all, actually. We'll be alright, probably. Will we, though? I mean, probably, like I said. I'm not sure, you know. Alright, what is in this wonderful room here? I guess this is the kitchen? Where we can make delicious things, like ramen. And more ramen. Correct? Yeah. Alright, this is important here, Bubba. The floorboards are loose. Okay, are you just gonna say that repeatedly? Yes, why would I why would I need to, you know? Some dried up goods. Say anything else. Hmm. There's something back there, it looks like a switch. <gasps> Baby, it's a trap door. How rude. By the way, we can bait Scissor Man down that hole by standing on the side of it. Hmm. No, many bottles of wine. I actually don't think there's much down here. Hang on one second. <gasps> what was that noise? Something just made a noise. It sounded like it came from behind here. Oh, it's Beth. Beth? Oh, Jennifer, it's you. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. He's going to kill us anyway. I don't want to go any further. That's just- I love the way she didn't say anything, she's just like disgusted. <laughs> we can't get upstairs anymore. Why would we want to go upstairs? Because we might be able to find a way out of here. There probably isn't a way out. But if you really want to go, take this key. Thanks for offering it to me the I first time. A little while ago. I don't know what it opens, but it'll probably open something in this mansion. <laughs> that is a... I have the mansion key. Alright, we can now leave, Baby Numpkin. So no. <laughs> Do you see the little dance we did there? There's no more about it. Little, little twirl? Little romantic twirl? I'm not quite sure what was romantic about it, but it was pretty numb probably, maybe, possibly. Yeah, I don't think it was romantic. Why not? Do you think anything about this situation is romantic, really? What if this man just loves us a lot? You ever think about that? I mean, that'd be even worse. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? He just wants to scissor. Bubby. Yes? Stop it. <laughs> it worked. Hooray. We opened a ting. Actually, I think I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. Fuck! Hang on. <laughs> oh no, I am going the right way. <laughs> but I wanted to stay on this floor. I didn't want to go upstairs. I'm scared, baby. I don't want to fuck this up. They're still here. Hello. It's no use. The metal fittings are completely rusted. So you remember back in the first level, we found this oil can. If you didn't pick that up, you couldn't do this at that point. It worked! 
Huzzah! What do you think about that, Bubby? Did that chest just vibrate? Possibly. I wouldn't want to open it. <laughs> scissor man? A mummified scissor man. The corpse looks very old. A key! You now have the box key. Are you just gonna assume every dead person that looks a bit f funky is a scissor man? I mean, it's fair. Chemicals and laboratory instruments. I mean, I'm assuming that everyone is scissor man in this. Like, I mean, after Harris just jumped out and was like, -da -da -da, I, 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 I assume everyone is scissor man. I think they are all scissor man. It's all just an elaborate hoax for our birthday. Our death day. Yeah. <laughs> that anyway. could have been a fun movie. <laughs> I did quite like that movie. I wonder why the rope and candle are together. You now have the rope. Alright, so we actually are going to open this with our beautiful box kitty we just found. Okay? Oh no. We can't do it, baby. We got attacked by bats. Fortunately, we have a plan. We're going to tie the door shut with the rope, okay? This is not going to bite us in the butt at all. And then, then we're going to use the box key on the box. Hello, Helen. Helen! Are you all right? Oh, Jennifer. Oh. We got to continue this conversation. <laughs> are you all right? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Oh, I wonder Is why. Is there a way out of here? <laughs> I don't know. Thanks, Helen. Thanks for being helpful. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Thanks for the input. He'll just hire somebody else over email to kill us for him. Jennifer? There must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. And I must find it. Or me. Let's go with me. Oh, for fuck's sake, she's the same shit twice. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. But I do know one thing. Making sure it's recording, I'm panicking. <laughs> if we don't kill Scissor Man, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. She's so slow at talking. I, it. I think they all are, to be fair. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here anyway. We found everyone so far, I believe. She's having a good time in the box, I think she was. I think she's probably going to go back to sleep in there. I would. I mean, at least, you know, if you've got the key, you could lock yourself in and Scissor Man can't get in. Uh, stairs, come on, uh, please. Stairs. Thank you. We got there in the end, baby. No, oh my god. This mansion has a very, very complex design, I will say. Hmm. Baby? Mm hmm. Do you like balconies? be okay. Like this one? This is a bucket. Oh! Yeah, that's fancy. This is not gonna go well, Um, maybe not with the giant hole in the safety, really. Goodbye! Goodbye, Scissor Man. Why didn't we just go Please hurry the, the fuck up. The, uh, why didn't we do that with the first one? Oh. Hang, hang on, what the... What the fuck? Lots of bodies. Bones are all over the floor. I don't like that they're in this room. I don't like that this has seemingly happened dozens of times and not ended well. Jennifer. Yeah. It's Nolan though, he's having a sleep. Nolan! You're alive! Where is everyone? I don't know. 
Scissor man attacked us, and everyone scattered. Ah! Oh. Nolan, you've hurt your leg. Just a cut. I'll be all right if I rest. <laughs> Nolan, I'll go. By yourself? I'm doing a lot better than you did. After I found and killed him. I'm not okay with this. They're ghost kids. These are all I've kids' seen bodies. Them a few times already. They are probably the ghosts of the children killed here. So many. I talk to him one more time at my own risk here. Oh, I can't. He's he's gone back to sleep. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, they're crunchy. <laughs> The crunchy kid's bones. Oh my god, that's horrible. Alright, we're going Crunch, crunch, now. crunch, crunch. Oh, we're here. What the fuck am I now then? I'm so confused, Bubby. I'm a bit lost. Just so what, a bit. Is this the balcony? I don't know. Let's just see. It worked. What worked? Okay, good. I think this is right. Brilliant. But we'll go through here. <laughs> Okay, we gotta look around, baby, in here, okay? Okay. Philosophy books. Books on alchemy, there are many different languages. There's something up here, baby, look. What's that? A box is on the bookshelf. Oh, wow. I can't reach it. Oh, what's in the box? We're gonna find out with the chair. The age-old uh, puzzle game puzzle. Yeah. An old lambskin parchment. <laughs> you know Barra's what I would do? Genealogy. Go on, sorry. You know what I would do what if would I do? made it? If I made a game. I'd make a puzzle like this, and it seems like you're supposed to use the chair, but the cha chair is a wheelie chair, so if you try, you it's a death. <laughs> like you slip and s crack your head on the floor. <laughs> and you're actually supposed to use, like, a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. <laughs> this pretty. That's quite a dumb idea. <laughs> the Barris Family Journal G. What is this mark? Someone has been marked in red. The 13th generation Barrows, Quinton Barrows, it says traitor. You now have genealogy. Oh, wow. Somebody, somebody decided to marry someone who wasn't in the pre-approved list. What a traitor. What a monster, baby, no kidding. I mean, honestly, he might have just fucked a devil. Or she might have just fucked a devil. I don't know. Possible. Possible. Oh, I thought the game was frozen there for a minute. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Which one of these doors have I been Isn't it through? oddly angular? <laughs> yeah, this room is. I'm looking for the room that we came in through the fireplace originally. I don't quite know where it is, so I'll have to have a look around. It is definitely not this. Oh, it's downstairs for a start. This is where we got the library key. So I think it's... 
like the one on the left or right down here, I want to say, but I'm not sure. It's really hard to tell. I'll try this one. I'm going to try every door until we find it, alright? <laughs> Probably get killed by Scissor Man in the process, because, you know, he's a bumpkin and he, he likes bumps. Have you ever, you ever said that before? What? Bumpkins like bumps. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I mean, I think they like stabbing bums, but, which is not great. But I like your bums, so that doesn't make me a bum king. I mean, you stab my bum with your sharp finger. It's when I, I, when guess I, I guess that's true. When I walk past, you poke the cheek oh, really fuck. hard. Fuck. Where is he? I know where to go. I, I know a place to hide. I went the wrong way, but I know a place to hide at least. Hurry the fuck up. You know what he kind of looks like to me? A bumpkin? Like a tiny Mr. Jekyll. Or Dr. Hyde. No, it's Jekyll, right? No. Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde. Get in the closet! Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, we're dead. Unless I can hide under the bed. Yeah, I think you're too late. I can't- Are you fucking kidding me? I am fucking- I'm gonna let him kill me because I don't want to lose another thing. Yeah. It's not worth it. I have no idea where this room has gone. Problem is I'm now in this room. Which is a really bad place to be. Like a really bad place to be. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, he's coming from the other direction now? What the fuck? <laughs> no rush. Just, just hurry the fuck up, please. Yeah, just take your sweet ass time, Jennifer. No rush. No pressure. No nothing. I reckon it's the top right door up there, actually, I just realized. That I need to go through. God damn it, the stupid stairs. Oh. I'm glad the game's lenient, by the way. Or we'd be just fucked at this point in time, right? Yeah. I don't think it's all that lenient. Oh, maybe. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 no kidding. The power of the Gnome King compels I wish, you. I wish it would have been programmed that while Scissorman is around, they automatically run. Yeah. What? It smells like something is burning. Okay, that's great and everything, Jennifer, but we are being... Oh! Well... Fuck. Who is that meant to be? I don't know, but we can't go through the fireplace any this time. What's this? You can't expect anything right now. You can juke him a little bit here, if you're careful, but you're not being careful. But it's very hard not- it's very hard to be careful with these controls, to be honest with you. Because they don't have any depth. Mm hmm I have no idea where to go to get away from them. Like, there doesn't seem to be any fucking safe rooms. I need to come back to this room and look at that guy's body when I'm done. But we know it's a top floor right door now, okay? Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Not sure this will pan out, but sure. We're gonna be running for a while, guys. Fucking asshole! I was go everything was going so smoothly. Oh. Oh. No, he's coming. Uh -uh. I thought we'd lost him for a second as well. No rush, Jennifer. Take your time. Okay, bear with me, alright? I could hide in the coffin, but I don't really want to. I feel something bad will happen if I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? If this works, I will be amazed. Okay, but this is what I've got a plan, alright? We can juke him in here if we have to. But we need to get in here. 
Come on, Sissy Man, come through the door. There he is. Stand here. Alright. Come on. Okay, so... The guide said if you have the hole in the floor, he'll just fall down it. That's wrong! <laughs> That's completely fucking wrong! And we're now trapped in, like, the shittest place. I don't know how to get rid of him. There's nowhere to hide. Can I hide in the box? Oh my god, I can. Oh no. Okay. Oh yes! Baby! Why are you getting out immediately? Oh, we did it! Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, let's go and look at the dead body that's burning in the fireplace. God, I've got to remember the way back now. To be fair, I will say about this game is it does give you time in between stalkings. Mm -hmm. You know, once he's gone for a bit, you're like, okay. I say that, he's going to show up, isn't he, immediately. I wanted to crawl back through the thing, but his body was just like there. We need to come back to this room in a second as well. So remember, it's that bottom left door and we need the bottom right door now. Bottom right, bottom left. Tim. Who the fuck is Tim? Oh, the cameraman. No. He's thick. Camera's, his camera's on the floor. It's his, the camera he was using or some shit it said. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> what is this? There are some matches on the floor. You now have the matches. Okay, that's actually important. Alright, now we need to go back down to the bottom left room. This one here. We're so close to the end, guys. So close. We really, we genuinely really it's are. It's gonna be so no. If we actually make it. I mean, one piece. I hope we do. It'd be numb if we do. Quinton Barrows, he is the 13th generation. That's the traitor. I know it's stuck to the back of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quentin Barrows. He's the dad of Scissorman, I believe. The first one. Listen. Just because... Your kid looks like Quasimodo. Doesn't mean you should give him a complex to kill people. Yeah. And then blame it on him. Just teach him to hate society in general. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. I don't know the history of Sism and I don't know if it's one of those situations where, you know, is like legitimately born a little devil. I don't know. Or, uh. Okay. This is important here, by the way. All right, I can't see anything, it's too dark. Okay, well, it's just as well. We now have a candle. Yes? Mm-hmm. Which we can put in the candle holder here. So no. The candle's been placed in the holder, and we just found matches on that guy's body, or near that guy's body. How convenient you got the strike anywhere matches, because usually they never work. Something is stuck on the back. 
This looks like the sketch of the mansion. There seems to be a passage drawn under the fountain. You now have mansion map. Okay. Thank okay. you. We're just going to leave the lit candle there. Yes. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> Okay. See here? On the floor? Mm hmm. There are scratch marks on the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. Mmm. So now, see here? There are many books with covers made of sheet copper. There's one book missing. What do we have? We have a copper book. So no. So no. Oh, spooky dookie. This looks awful, actually. <laughs> Which one do we need to go down? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that was at the top of the star plate, so give me a second, everyone, while I consult the screenshot that I took, okay? Oh my god, Dudley. Okay, so it's the moon one we need to take. It's different every time. So, this one here. A deep shaft is supposed to tell how far down it goes. Well, we're going. Look at boy. Okay, hello. <laughs> and we need this. One of the most important items we're going to find in the whole thing. A dagger. A dagger with symbols carved in it. You now have a dagger. Oh, hello! Who are you? It must be Scissor Man, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we have one last thing to do. We now have to get into the other secret area, which is in the area where the fountain was, and that guy was, like, lying injured. The professor? Except he wasn't. No, he was okay. He was okay, but he, he was, was just, just like, ugh, I, I just need to lay on this tree. I'm not injured, though. This is just, just a very important experience. He's coming. I know he's coming. He's, he's due an appearance really soon. Would you a scissoring? That mummy didn't do a lot, did it really? I just booked it through the door and it was like, okay. Well, I appreciate a mummy that doesn't uh, try to overexert its uh, itself. Fair, fair. <laughs> They're so rich and yet they couldn't get all oh, the doors make... to match. Fuck. Sorry. It's fine. I'm used to being ignored. They're so rich. He said. Mm -hmm. This might be the valve to drain the fountain. <laughs> Why am I just playing with the floor? There's a... the turny thing. I'm sorry about the sound noises sometimes, guys. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> it sounds like an old, like, fucking, like, Atari booting yeah. up or some shit. Yeah, it occasionally does that. The water in the fountain drains away. I feel like this is really dangerous, because couldn't he just turn the water on again and drown us? Yes, and no. Because he's down here. I really enjoyed this, by the way. Like, really enjoyed this. Edward, please. I know you're a good boy. Oh, maybe you were right the whole time. Edward. 
See, I was telling you. He was the only other survivor, quote unquote. Okay. Hello. This is awkward. So it was you, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. You don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor-fingered little runt. What is going on? All right, I need to... I need the statue. I'm not sure this was a good idea. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, eat dagger, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> Please close. Close sesame! <laughs> yeah! We got the good ending! Nolan, you might want to help her up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got the A ending. There you go. Okay. <laughs> So the B ending is the same, except you die at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, you both go through the thing. Oh my god, are we going to get sweet FMV? We are. I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Days? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? Worry. I'm sure Helen will be <laughs> This is horrific! You know, you're tough. <laughs> no, you're just weak. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Helen? Jennifer, Nolan, Helen. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. That really hurt. Oh, wow, the entire place got fucked up. Okay. So literally everybody else is dead. That's it. Everyone else died! <laughs> they were just fodder. Alright, so I'll just go through the endings quickly, right? Because we're, we're going to just do the one playthrough. I don't Because the other one is very similar. Okay. okay. But basically, this ending, there's like slight variance, obviously, if you play as Helen with different scenarios and stuff. And uh, I think uh, someone else goes to the house instead of uh, Nolan mm -hmm. for the second chapter uh, to get the statue. If you don't get the statue, you get ending E, which means, oh, we didn't get the statue, we're fucked the end, basically. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the A ending is the one we just got. The B ending is identical, except you both get sucked through the portal and you end, you die, right? Mm -hmm. The C and D endings do have more lore, but they have there's more effort required in getting them, basically. Okay. Uh, but they're like, this is like the first ending you're meant to get, like the true ending. Mm-hmm. So you were right about Edward the whole time. Of course. He was in the exact same fucking uniform. <laughs> He's around about the same age. So... <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Scissor Man Dan. <laughs> Why is he called Dan? What the fuck? I think that's just his name. Yeah, it's weird, though. I'd stick with Scissor Man, to be honest with you. <laughs> Sounds more intimidating than Dan, you know? Anyway, that was our playthrough of Clock Tower, guys. I might do the, um... Six people survived. I think. Could we save more, or is it that just... Well, I'm not... We're not gonna go 
try that again, but it's just curious to think about. Um, overall, I liked it. Yeah, it's I really like this. a little bit janky in places, but... Yeah, considering how old it is, I think this actually holds up pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so I liked it a lot more you. than, um, what's it called? What? The, the Ring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, The Ring. Well, I mean, nothing has been as bad as Ghost Hunter, and hopefully nothing ever will be. Which Quite is funny. a shame, because Ghost Hunter could have been a fun a fun little thing. The writing was funny. Uh, even the ghost designs were pretty funny. It's just... Everything else. It just the didn't run play. well. Yeah. Um, also, uh, next up is Juwan the Grudge. Do we know that for sure now? Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, good. We'll be starting that pretty soon, because it's another quite a short one. Mm-hmm. I will try and endeavour to get the true ending in it, but don't hold your breath, guys, if the insanity of pop playing the Wii gets to me. <laughs> um, and we will see you soon. Uh, if you enjoyed this long play, consider pledging to our Patreon. You can vote on what these long plays are. You can nominate them. So if you had a game you wanted us to play, you could nominate that for coverage. Um, there's lots of cool stuff you can do there. Uh, at the moment, we're trying to reach our Patreon goal for the month. If we do, it will unlock an exclusive playthrough of Edna and Harvey The Breakout for November. Is our current goal. So if that's something you'd like to see, as well as things like exclusive vlogs and other non-content, consider popping over to our Patreon and giving it a pledge. Leave a comment down below, tell us what you thought. Mm -hmm. Like the video if you liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want notifications, there's a bell, you can Ring try it. that. Ring it! Uh, and, uh, you know, if you just want to see Minx is hipster hamster hot takes just follow the twitter she also announces videos there yep and there's a twitch if you want to see us live twitch.tv slash crankshow where you could see us bicker in real time exactly i may actually play helen's route on stream this month as well so that could be if you enjoyed this maybe come along for that uh that's it i think go watch our other videos all of them right now every single all one of them. even especially the really long ones yes okay bye okay bye